Welcome to Banana Mores. This next comic is responsible for most of my wrinkles caused by all the laugh lines. You'd think I was on the floor. Yeah! Let's do it! Give it up for Missy, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for her. Yes! I'm excited to be here. I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited to be out in general uh, because this pandemic is different. You're forced to be at home and deal with your family. Girl. <laughs> It's tough. It's tough. I'm a dad of three, um, and I'm a husband to one, allegedly. Uh, so that's always good. Uh, have one wife. That's always a good thing. Let's talk about these kids, though. Um, I found out, you know, in this pandemic, you find out who's clean and who's disgusting. Uh, kids are nice, but they're nasty. Uh, kids are very nasty. I love my babies. I do. But I just found out how nasty they are. I found out how this whole thing started. It might have started in my house. It may have started in my house, and I don't know. I'm, because I was, I was, like the other day, right? Here's a true story. I was holding my daughter. I was holding my daughter. And out of nowhere, you know, her nose is running. She, she wipes her nose, and she just grabs my lip. Just, just snot and just transfers it to my lip. Immediately, I forgot she was my baby. I dropped her. Ah! Just, just dropped her. It was... Don't feel bad, guys. It was, it was, it was, it was something soft. Now I wouldn't. She didn't hit her head or anything. It was just, she got to learn. She got to learn. You can't, you just can't go putting snot on people's face. It's not, it's not a typical practice. It's not a standard practice, man. It's a different time, though. It's a different age, man, where you got to wear these masks. You got to know people by the eyebrows. You know what I mean? Just walking around is like. DJ, is that you? I know those eyebrows. Anyway, get over here. How you doing, boy? Good to see you. Good, man. You owe me some money. I know everybody. Before they ask, get some money from me. Hey, hey, hey. Let me see eyebrows. I'm going to identify you. Okay, cool. See you out in public. I want to know who you are. Good stuff. <laughs> it's a different time, though. It was, a, it was once upon a time where me as a black man going to a bank wearing a mask was unheard. <laughs> now, now it's welcome. It's a great time to be a bank robber right now. Business is booming. <laughs> He's like, where's he at? Where's he at? He just ran past you with the mask on. Everybody got a mask on. Everybody. It's an amazing time. Uh, I, I grew up a little different than most people, though. I grew up a little different than most people. Uh, my, mom, my mom had me when she was 13 years old. So we're pretty much the same age when you really think about it. Um, I mean, it weren't too much we were doing different. Like, I couldn't drink. She couldn't drink. I couldn't go to the club. She couldn't go to the club. We were really doing the same thing. Um, you ever went to the, you ever went to school with your mom? You ever done that? That's weird. Hmm? Like attend school with your mother. The teacher be like, hey DJ, we're gonna tell on you if, if you don't if you don't get your act together. It's like go, go get my mom. She's in the next class. <laughs> we ride the same bus. We got a whooping together one time. It was crazy. It was unheard of. Never done it. You ne you never got a whooping till you got a whooping with the person who's supposed to be your hero. We were holding hands. We were like, ah. My mom said, I'm going to whoop you again when we get done with this whooping for getting me a whooping. Hey, y'all, I'm DJ Pryor. Thank y'all. This kid's going places. You heard me. Clap it up for that incredible set.